emodels.co.uk. Make something awesome. Okay, so welcome back to uh, part five of uh, the LeFerrari, Tammy's LeFerrari build for uh, emodels.co.uk. Um, as you can see, I've uh, moved on a bit. Uh, I thought I'd done an introduction for this bit. Um, I know I did a little bit at the end of part four, um, but uh, couldn't find it. Anyway, this is what we've done. So this is uh, the rear section of the, uh, the under panels. So there's quite a lot of uh, carbon fibre on this part. So that's what I've been doing for the last few days, is getting that on. So basically, uh, semi-gloss black, X18, Tamiya X18, and then the uh, decals, carbon fibre decals around the, uh, these parts here. Um, there's these fins that go in there as well. And on the underneath, in here, I think the batteries, so these are painted up. I'm going to paint them yellow first, and then masked these grill parts off and then painted the rest of it in semi-gloss. And put a bit of panel wash in there just to give a bit of uh, depth. And the front part is just basically semi-gloss black all over. Um, so we'll really get these uh, put together. So actually this front part is really quite easy. This part sort of clicks under there. And it fits to uh, these two parts in here. So we'll get some glue on that. Don't turn that. And a little bit. Just along that join. that bit it's in like that I can drop it so what we'll do with this one is use a bit of the uh, contact glue um so we can put a blob of it down and it'll uh, stick so to work out what's got plastic glue right so on here there's uh, a couple of little divots and here this is where the uh, glue points are So we'll do we'll put them on the uh, bottom here, and then we'll put some extra thin around some joints. Got to switch stuff this. Drop something we'll do. Anyway, there he goes. So we'll leave that to to dry for a bit. So these two parts go in. bit that it shows in the instructions covering it up, this one here which is uh, E14, is actually a clear part, so it's this one here. So uh, as you can see I've not painted it, um, just debating whether to leave it open, leave it uh, clear and put it on uh, towards the end of the build, 
because I say there's not a lot of point in painting those and then covering them up, which is actually unusual with, uh, with models. But anyway, I'll uh, consider that. So I'm not going to put it on for the moment. So what we'll do is, while we're waiting for that to dry, I'll get these parts in. So again, we'll use a little bit of this one. Let's uh, out and going everywhere. So that's those uh, in there. So I'll uh, leave this part to try before I fit these two. Because most of they fit on these two parts here. Um, so basically they were, so what's that, uh, X32. It's Tommy Silver, uh, titanium, titanium Silver. So once I've got them in, I'll put a little of panel wash through the, uh, the cracks there. So we'll uh, leave that for a minute and uh, we'll come back. Okay, so that's uh, a bit of time to uh, to dry. So we'll get these uh, parts put on. Okay, so the uh, curved part is the outside of the car. Come on, it just went in before. Where are we going in now? So that's a bit of definition. So I shall leave that to uh, have a good dry. So this is the next bit we'll be doing. Is the uh, side radiators, which fit on on here. There's a couple of little interior bits as well. So I've done. Let's cut them off and uh, clean them up. So with this part we have. Decals over the uh, top of the wheel arches, and uh, some of the photo etch. These panels on here to go over the front. Okay, on the model itself, uh, in the kit, you get the uh, mesh, which just shows how to cut it out on here. So. Uh, what we'll be doing in the, in the next little bit on the, in this part is be cutting those out, TA gluing them on, and then we can prime everything up. These radiators themselves, and this is something that goes on top of the uh, wheel arch. So, um, we'll pause it there, and I'll be back in a minute or two, and we'll do a bit of uh, photo etching. Okay, so we're doing a bit of uh, Photo etch now. So we've uh, got the right part, the 
left hand side uh, so this is part 17 which is this one here so like we did before we'll cut it out of the frame still in this packing sheet Sorted. So we've got a little bit of blub on there. So again, make sure you've got the right uh, parts. So is this one we're doing? The dry fit first, so see where we're uh, lining up. See a little knot to the bottom there. Shows where it goes. Okay, so I'll get a bit of There, see you glue. Gonna work a bit quick. And now, set your fingers together. So that's yeah, that's all. It's all flat and everything. That's good. So I'll put that over there too. We go dry and number eight tins for the other side. See where it uh, where it sits. Top of the notch. There you go, that's on there. So nice and flat. Straight. There we go. So again, we'll leave that uh, a bit dry. I'll put this well out of the way. Expecting when this is dry, can peel it off that. So we'll pause it there for now, and we'll back when uh, that's dried and uh, we do a bit of priming. We've got the priming done. Um, so that's the photo etch part that we fit in the last bit. And as usual it's the uh, UMP's grey primer. So these parts and a couple of little bits for uh, the interior. 
they're all semi boss black. Um, this part semi gloss black with chrome on the top, but I'll show you that when I'm doing the uh, detail painting. These two radiators are aluminium, and these are, I can't remember, titanium silver with a couple of semi gloss black detail parts on it. So that's the next bit, we'll get those sprayed up and then we'll uh, come back and see what we're going to do. And this is, this is flat red. The play thing goes in here. Some sort of a console thing, probably handbrake by the looks of it. So they fit in like so. Okay, so we'll get those painted up and we'll be back. So we've done there a little bit here, uh, so we've got these parts painted up and as you can see we've uh, done some carbon decaling on the uh, top of the wheel arch. It's a larger check than uh, the interior. Just show you the first small weave on uh, the interior carbon fibre. So this one's a much larger check. So there's a uh, few different parts. There's one here, one there, big one over the top, and these divots have ones in there as well. And on that side as well. So that's all uh, looking very nice. So what we'll do now, uh, in a little bit, just got a little bit of paint in this, like it's fit the uh, radiators. Underneath the grills, so it's like so. Uh, these are painted up in uh, aluminium and did the uh, panel line wash just give a bit of depth to the uh, grill there that's the other one so what we're going to do now is uh, do a little bit of painting on these parts which is actually tell me what they are but anyway they're these they go on top of the wheel arch so there's a couple of little bits that we're doing there, the semi-gloss black. Basically we try and show you, it'll uh, might bounce and go all over. So anyway, so there's a bit at the end and a bit in the middle that gets painted semi-gloss. And then we'll do this part here, which is chrome along the top, this handbrake, and then we'll fit those into the, uh, the body of the car. So, get semi-gloss, give it a good shake. It's the uh, end bit there to this, this ridge here, and then this bit along the top is uh, semi gloss. here This is on the end of me brush, there's a light, little turn. Anyway, that's actually quite good for getting into uh, 
to get a little heart's like along the edge of this. So you get a person that has a slight turn in it. You don't necessarily throw it away because it's quite good for getting into uh, little twiddly bits. So uh, we'll let that dry and see if there's any uh, touching up to do. And uh, I'll do this side, and we'll do it off camera because it's basically see when we what to do. And I said I'll paint the top of the, uh, the handbrake in the chrome. Uh, so we'll be back in a sec to uh, just show you those and we'll uh, stick some things together. Right, so we've uh, painted some bits up. That's the top of the uh, so I think it's then break. In chrome, rest of it in semi gloss. These parts for the uh, top of the uh, wheel arch. A uh, little red thing as well. So we'll uh, stop putting things, some things together. So we start off with. Little red bit, which goes just that little gap there. So you can see there's a little uh, bit sticking up there, and on the back, which I'm painted as a little notch. See that sits on there. Just a tiny bit of glue on that. So the next bit we've got is sort of a button array which goes in that little slot there. Fluff of it. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's a little blue. So there's three in. Okay. 
and you go, that's okay. So I'm fitting the radiators. So this one is so the left hand. This one's the right. So the left one has the curve to the bottom, the right one is a solid one. And also on the back of the part here, there's a set of grooves which match the shape of that. matches into the notch there so we'll uh, get, get a bit of glue on that the other side. So the other side is pretty smooth all the way around apart from little notch and little hole. Just can't really get on the wrong side. So the, uh, the shape of the underneath is, uh, is different on each one. So let those dry a bit. So that just leaves these parts to go on top. Again, there's no sort of special size, so either one will work. They just go the right this way around. So your longer part, in this case, is on the right, and the narrow part is on the left. Going towards the inside of the car. Sit on there like that. So again, we'll get a bit of glue in there. Yeah, like so. So again, we'll let those dry, and then we'll fit this, these two parts, onto the engine. So see you in. So I fitted uh, one of the uh, wheel arches in already, just to see how it, uh, how it went on. And um, basic fix is on with these two parts here, and along here. up under there. So, uh, <coughs> excuse me, so it's coming along nicely. You can see where the divots in the, uh, on the outside there, so match up with different parts. So behind this uh, silence box, there's a divot. So what we'll do, we'll get this side on. See so here, there's a little hole and on here there's a little peg, so you sort of match up like so, make sure they're all down and get in here it should match up, it's good to see when it's all black, so you can sit down, 
So what we'll do first, we'll glue this part, these two sections here first. cards on, with radiators and some more carbon uh, decaling. Okay, thanks for uh, watching this uh, latest installment of uh, the LaFerrari Gold by Tamiya for uh, eModels. Okay, go on to uh, eModels.co.uk and uh, just have a look through their website, uh, it's very good. Okay. See you in the next one.